Alright, so let me go ahead and bust open. I don't want a whole lot of eggs. I think I'm just going to do two. These are the extra large. Excuse me. These are the extra large eggs. Last time I just got the large, and there was a huge difference. I found out. So today we are dealing with the extra large version. And since these are just going inside of the pancakes, we're only going to need two. Mixed up. Don't take much just to get your eggs scrambled. Alright, I've never tried this before, so like a lot of things, we'll see how it turns out together. I'm excited for it. Um, what you want to do is just make sure you do get your bacon extra crispy. I feel like that's going to be a necessity to have that bacon really done, really well done. You don't want it to be all, you know, uh, fatty and, um, you know, really loose. You want it to be crunchy and crispy and, you know, to break like a potato chip would or something. You know, you'll see. So they make bacon bits, they get really crispy and just keep breaking it up until it's real fine pieces. That's basically the same concept. We're going to make a bacon bits. We're going to be a little bit larger than bacon bits. And what I'm planning to do, just so you know, is I'm going to um, mix the bacon and the eggs. So I'm going to cook both. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to, I've already got the bacon cooked. Now I'm going to cook the eggs, set them to the side, just like I do the bacon. And I'm going to tear it all up into little pieces. And then I'm going to combine it all together in the batter and make the pancakes that way. We'll see how it turns out. That's the best way I can think of because you definitely don't want to throw the bacon in there raw. You don't want to throw the eggs in there raw. I don't think. I mean, I don't know what would happen. I don't think you'd notice much of a difference if you threw the eggs in there raw because there are some uh, pancake batters that do call for eggs. This one only calls for water, so I must have bought it at a time when I wasn't really using. Um, I don't use pancake mix that often. I've had it in there for a minute. I'm not going to lie. At least a year, I would say. But it's still good. It's just powder. It's not going to go bad. I just opened it for the first time about maybe a month ago. Um, but anyways, uh, long story short, I got the kind that uses water. I don't need eggs. So what I'm going to do is make the eggs separate and then uh, make them light and fluffy. And I'm just going to tear them into little um, pieces with a fork or something. And same thing with this bacon. Do the same thing with this bacon. I better get some air moving so the alarm doesn't go off. Alright, just cut the air on real quick so that will circulate some stuff we have some cheese too i was thinking about the cheese like how's that going to work is the cheese going to burn if i put it in there with it and the concept that me and kayla came up with the concept we came up with was to kind of maybe have two pancakes and we're going to have cheese in between and the best syrup aunt jemima i don't know why they took that beautiful woman off the bottle you guys should be ashamed it's almost like you talk about racism, man. How is this racism? You're elevating black people and you're representing black people in a positive way. I look at this woman every time I see the bottle. I'm happy. I don't see anything wrong with that. And it makes me very pissed that they took that off and changed it to some other company. But I think, honestly, if you want to know the truth, I think a lot of black people feel that same way too. They're like, what would you take her off? It's almost like you took a representation of a beautiful black woman off the bottle. It doesn't make any sense. Anyways, I don't want to harp on that. I still have my bottle. And, um, yeah, I like my Aunt Jemima. <laughs> I'm just saying. And I have Uncle Ben's rice, too. I'm not playing about either one. All right, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and cut this heat off. Our bacon's to the point now where it's about to start burning. So let's get a plate to put that in. And here's what I want to do. Finally, thank you, Jesus. I got paper towels. Paper towels are crucial when it comes to bacon. There's so much grease, so... Drop my bacon off here. And now I have a little bit of bacon grease left in the pan. Seems like the perfect time to get the eggs in there. Make sure you season. I don't really have much time. Try to season if possible. Oh, there's bacon grease in there. That's right. I didn't want to do these scramble. Oh no! Lost a third of an egg. Don't be too fast. 
but you have to. You don't have much time with these eggs. There's a fine point where accuracy and speed meets, and that's where you want to be at. You want to be at the point where accuracy meets speed, and that's different for everybody based on your talents, based on your uh, ability to see, your um, level of being awake. Have you had your coffee? You ready to go? I didn't have any coffee this morning. I'm just feeling good. See, I just kind of flipped that whole thing over, even though it's scrambled eggs still, but I kind of flipped it over in one big piece. I don't know if I'll be able to replicate that. Okay, yeah, boom. Now they're fluffy. They got that fluff appeal to the eggs. I really enjoy that. And so we don't need to dry out, but this is the concept. I'm not going to let them get too done. I'm just going to kind of chop them up into smaller pieces. Now I need a bowl, Kayla. Never mind it. Let me try to help this. All right, let's put our eggs now in this bowl here. Okay, now, what to do next? This is so experimental. I don't want to rinse the pan. Man, I'm just going to leave the egg on there. It'll be okay. It'll be perfectly fine. All right, let's get a little bit more of this bacon grease, just a tiny bit. Alright, so we have our bacon ready and we have our cheese. It's important to let your cheese sit out for a little bit too so that it is warmed up to the you know to the air temperature. Oh, man, that was hot. Let it sit out so that it, it's not going to take so much for it to melt. It's already going to be room temperature. And it's loose and floppy now. Alright, so let me just think about how to do this best. Um, we have our bacon. We need to crumble that up. I, I can think of just maybe crumbling it up in the bowl that we're using for the eggs. Let's see how it turns out. Ooh, that's so hot. Very hot. You know, I like bacon. Uh, you might want to use sausage instead. I used sausage last time, but I didn't add any eggs. So I'm always, you know me, I'm always trying something new and interesting. Grease. All right, so keep in mind the pan is, I cut the temperature off, but the um, pan is still pretty hot. Okay, so I have bacon. I wonder if that's enough bacon in there. Kind of mix that up, chop that up a little bit. Is that enough bacon? Should I add a little bit more bacon? Anytime I've ever asked myself that, should I add more bacon? The answer is always yes. <laughs> it seems like. So let's take uh, a few more pieces here. Oh, let's get some of this crispier stuff. Don't have so much fat content. All right, I want to say that's about the appropriate amount right there. And we'll make a couple of these pancakes. And we'll just see how it turns out. Hopefully it'll be delicious. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. I'm going to take this egg and the bacon, and I'm going to put it in with the batter. I didn't want to mix the eggs in here before now. I didn't want anything funky to happen, but, you know, who knows what's going to happen. Who knows what's going to happen. Hopefully it'll be just a whole bunch of goodness. Mixing all this up. Man, I wish that was gravy, and I had some biscuits and gravy. That would be good. Man, biscuits take a lot of effort to work, to make them work. I'm not satisfied with the mine, so I'm just going to kind of keep working on that off camera. Okay, so we have our solution mixed up here. Let's throw our eye back on. And um, I wasn't, I didn't want to put the cheese in there with it because I felt like it was going to burn. Maybe I'll try one with the cheese in there and one on the outside just to see what the difference is. So we have our mixture and let's just see what happens. The pan's nice and hot. Alright, now let's just put make kind of a large pancake. Already kind of has like a 3D shape to it, like a different shape than you would normally see for a pancake. 
I thought about putting the cheese on top when I'm done. I thought about mixing it in. So the first time what we're gonna do is make the pancake. Let's get it uniform if we can. Okay, it's already starting to form. The pan is already hot. I hope this is going to be good. If not, we will not be having this again. <laughs> the only way to know is to try. So. It's a beautiful Saturday. Let's give it up for NC State. You know the Wolfpack are going to win tonight. I don't know where you guys are watching the game at. I'm thinking about where to watch it myself. I think it's going to be on TBS. I don't have cable. I just, you know, I just watch the internet. I don't think I have TBS, so I'm gonna find some place to watch the game. There. Here we go. I kind of like to go around the edge like that. I'm already noticing a slight difference. It seems like the pancake wants to crumble, almost like it has, um, maybe it's because I'm messing with it too much. Looks like it's in little sections instead of one large, cohesive, uh, you know, chunk of pancake here. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this flipped. It might not be ready. Oh, baby, that was a tough one. Oh, man, part of it did not go, but we're going to fix that. Look at here. Okay, so this is still looking like a traditional pancake for the most part on the back side and any un, um, anything that you see here that's raw like that didn't make it all the way over, um, kind of squeezed out. Don't worry about that. We're going to take care of that. But the one thing you want to do is make sure your spatula, see that raw on your spatula, not good. Go to the sink and wash that junk off. Sorry, I can't stand it when the sink's full of crap. I have my sink clean. My dishes girl over here, Kayla. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, so it's cooking good on one side. And now let's see if we can flip this bad boy again. Alright, here we go. So it is kind of like in different sections if you look at it, like continents almost. But it's still basically one big circle. So I think it's going to be okay. And here's what I'm going to do. I might just throw the cheese on top. I don't know how that's going to be. Some of you might be saying, well, why do you even want cheese at all? You might be right, but for the sake of argument, we're going to try. I mean, it's bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle is what I was thinking about when I made this. And it seems like they have that going on. They have cheese on top. Bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. It kind of, you know, kind of goes hand in hand. Let's see if we melt this cheese, if it's going to make a big difference. I'm going to cut the eye off. My plan was to have two pancakes and then put you know put one another pancake on top of this so you'd have the cheese in the middle you'd have the syrup on top that may be a better concept I think you would probably want to do a smaller pancake than that large one so the cheese is melting now we have the eye off so I don't want it to burn but is it going to melt fast enough that's a good question we still have plenty of batter left this could be the first one, like a little um, trial. We did a big pancake, and um, hey, you can do the pancake omelet. What about that? Boom. Oh, it's starting to, starting to uh, burn on that side. So let's go ahead and get this off. This will be our first trial piece, just to see how it turns out. Okay, so let's make sure it's done. Cheese, look at that cheesy, ooey gooey cheesiness. Mmm, that's so hot. Let me get a fork. Kayla's ready. She's chomping at the bit over here. Mmm, very cheesy. Look, very hot. Now let's add a little syrup to it and we'll do the taste test over here. Ooh, yeah, there's some syrup. Let's see if it tastes anything like the uh, bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle. Alright, I'm going to divide this in half so I can give Kayla a piece so she don't attack me. She's like an attack dog when she sees food. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, so let's see here. Just have plenty of batter left. It looks like that little bit made quite a big pancake. 
All right, so we have two different ones here. Let's give Kayla hers. Let's see how that works out. Get off the heat. Okay, here we go. So, first trial of the bacon and cheese pancakes. Not very pretty, and I probably could have done it in a different way. We'll see how it works. Mmm. Saves time, doesn't it? That's good. That really is good. You like it, Cal? Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Let's get another bite and see what we got going on here. Mmm. That probably looks. Mmm. Ha, ha, ha. Very good. Now, I think I would tweak a few things. Maybe a little less bacon. Maybe a little less pancake and then put the cheese in between. I don't know, but I kind of like the fold over deal too. Maybe we're just both really hungry. I don't know. <laughs> but it's pretty good. So I'm going to try a different way. But I just want to show you that way. And then maybe I'll record the other way too. Enjoy your Saturday. Let's go state. Woohoo! Wolfpack, baby.